How you doing? My name is Stephen Carberry. Um, I'm based in the Integrated Controls Division in Port Leash, and I'm just going to go through AgriSnap. Um, many of you are probably familiar with AgriSnap. Um, it is the just one second menu in my way. I'm trying to move. There we go. Um, it's the smartphone application developed by the Department of Agriculture, Food and the Marine, uh, the Walton Institute based in Waterford, and Chagas under the NEVA project. Um, and in 2023, AgriSnap will enable advisors to take accurate geotag photos, but also to complete acre scorecards, which is a new development, using their smartphones, and then to submit them securely and conveniently to the department through the app. So um, everyone can down download the app for free at um, the, uh, the Apple App Store, or on Android at the Google Play Store. So what is an AgriSnap video for, or photo for? Well, an AgriSnap photo is a photograph which captures the geographic coordinates and camera details within the background of the photo. So when you take the photo, these details are, are captured behind the scenes, and when the photo is submitted, then they are submitted along with the photo. AgriSnap photos uh, and scorecards provide um, farmers and advisors a secure means to verify the accuracy and veracity of their claims, and the app has been developed based on the feedback of farmers and users to be easy to use, uh, easy to access and easy to use. So it's gone through a number of rounds of development at this stage. So once you take a regular snap photo, these are the details that uh, pop up in the back. So the contrast of the camera the and different details like that, but also the GPS coordinates of where the photo was taken, which is a very important point. Um, using those in, that information, then we can uh, geolocate the photo to a specific parcel, or we can guide you to that parcel. So as I said, in 2023, AgriSnap will be the geotag photo app used to support the area monitoring system, but also the Agri -Clim uh, Climate Rural Environment Scheme, ACRES. So farmers and their advisors will receive AgriSnap requests in connection to their application from uh, the department through the app. Therefore, it's important to have it downloaded on your phone and become familiar with logging into the app um, and playing around with the app. Um, other schemes may be included later in the year, but currently it's just AMS and ACRES. So how do you download the app? Well, as I said, you can go to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, you'll find these on the screen, your home screen on your phone. So in this case, it's the Google um, Play Store on the Android devices. You click on this and it will bring you into the store. You type in AgriSnap and you press install. Um, this is also the way you update versions of the app. So in the next couple of weeks, we will be providing an updated version of the app and you'll be required to go into the Google Play Store and just to update your version. To log into the AgriSnap app, I'd say most of you are probably familiar with this at this stage, but you use your, what we call SSO login or your AgFood username and password. So your AGR number and your password. Um, if you need to update your password, you have to go into AgFood and update it through, through AgFood. It's not possible to update your password or change your password through the app. Um, once you, you enter your uh, AGR number and your password, you will then go into a screen where you will be asked to provide a phone number. This will only be the first time you use the app as this phone number will then be registered uh, to the app. And this is the phone number that will then receive the six digit code. So once you press, I skipped that one there. Once you press validate after entering the phone number, what will happen is you will receive a six digit code. Once that six digit code is received, you enter that into the app and you press login and you are in the app. So I'll have a short video in a second showing, uh, demonstrating these functions, but just before we go into that, once you have validated a mobile phone, it's important, uh, it's, it's linked to your AgriSnap account from that point on. And this phone number will receive the SMS each time you log in to that account. In some cases for advisors, they will have both a far, their own personal farmer account and a, an advisor account. If they use different phones for each one, then be careful which phone you uh, register for each action because the f you cannot, well, you cannot change that yourself. To change that phone number, you will have to contact agrisnap at agriculture.gov.ie and we can reassign a phone number. Advisors must log into agrisnap using their advisor login details when conducting any work on behalf of a client. Um, and if experiencing any issues with AgriSnap, please do not uninstall the app as photos or scorecards cannot be retrieved from the app if it has been uninstalled from your phone. Um, the photos and the scorecards are captured within the app uh, in the instance on your phone. If anything happens to the phone before they are submitted or if you delete the app, we cannot retrieve them. So contact AgriSnap at agriculture.gov.ie before doing it uh, if you're experiencing any technical issues with AgriSnap. Just some general use advice. 
And we have changed AgriSnap slightly that you can log into AgriSnap before leaving home or the office, which is the current advice. Um, then AgriSnap will remain active on your phone for, here it says over four, 24 hours, it's up to 48 hours. So once you log in an area of good connection, you can then leave your leave it logged on in the background on your phone and you, will, you won't experience any uh, loss of connection. Um, this will allow you to work offline if you enter an area where you, are, you have poor connection or connectivity. Um, remember to take photos in open spaces, um, heavy cover such as trees, farmyard walls, uh, corrugated roofs, things like that will affect the GPS accuracy and may not allow you to take the photo. The way the AgriSnap requests work, unless the device can identify you as being within the parcel that we've requested the photo from, it will not allow you to take a photo and hence will not allow you to um, uh, complete a scorecard. Um, Obviously, ensure your phone is adequately charged before entering the uh, go, before going out on inspection. So this this is the first run through of the AgriSnap scorecards. So yes, excellent, it's working. So this is the screen you will have when you log into the app. You will be pr provided an, uh, an AgriSnap login screen. You press log in, and here you will see the details. So you add in your AGR number and your password, and you press log in. Um, this will bring you into the screen where you will be told that the one-time passcode has been sent to that phone number that you previously registered. So this usually arrives within about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, you copy that from your SMS text and just enter that number into the app. That will bring you into the home page of the app. So this is what the app will look. This is what the app does look like. Um, so you can see here the orange colored uh, requests, they are pending requests. So they're ones that are outstanding. The green ones are receipt or previously received requests. Now this is a test version. So all these have, we've been doing a lot of testing and these there are several of these that are green already. Um, there are two types of requests you see here. There'll be fo geotag photo requests, but there will also be scorecard requests. There's a filter menu at the top, as you can see, parcel, status, year, um, but also herd will be included there. And this is a second way of doing the same set of filtering. Click on the top right corner. It'll also bring you to this menu where you can change the language. Um, you can contact us. This is a, we'll send an automated email to us. So we go back out then to the home page. Um, this will contain all the details as I said previously. You can also go into your photos page. This shows photos or score, and associated with scorecards that have been previously sent. You can also uh, go into your land parcels and this should identify all the land parcels you have. So we're now gonna click into an acres grassland scorecard as this will be the one that will be most used. Um, as you can see, it provides a, a map of the, the parcel, the parcel number. It allows you to zoom in, zoom out, and it will also allow you to, to change the display if required. These are all just nice functions, but not actually necessary um, to complete your work. Um, you scroll down to the bottom and you can see you get a, a pop-up menu where it also provides the parcel number. It also provides a get directions tab, which will open a Google Maps style page, which will actually direct you to the parcel even if you're over an hour away, which I recently found out. Um, well, we also provide a description. So um, in this case, it's a scorecard. So please submit a photo and complete the scorecard for the acres land. It's good practice to update your location. And you can see here, these are the list of satellites that are available. And you press start survey. So uh, as Caroline said earlier on, certain areas will allow you to change the scorecard. However, for the grassland scorecard, that's not an option. I will show you that option slightly later. Um, so the first step then is to take a picture. However, as I said before, until you are within the parcel or the phone identifies you as being within the parcel, taking a picture will not be an option. It's a nice picture of the conditionality booklet. Um, and now you see that the get, um, get started option is now available. Until a picture has been taken, the scorecard will not be available to start. So you must take a picture from within the parcel before the scorecard can be initiated. So we'll start the scorecard now. And the scorecards all follow a, a familiar theme. So here are the prerequisites, the dominant grassland type, the soil type. Um, you just click on these with your finger as you go through, and then you just work through the workflow uh, of the scorecard. So you can see here, there's a number of uh, different questions. Um, many of the questions will have drop-down selections. So you can select several different options. 
um, you're not restricted to one and there's as you can see there's quite a quite a number in, in that menu um, then as I said you work your way through the scorecard just tapping options as you go through selecting the correct option for you for whatever field you're in more drop downs we also have the ability in, in AgriSnap to restrict certain question types so for question four there's an A and a B as you can see it's it's question A or question B so if you collect select an option in sec, uh, section A it grays out section B you will not be able to enter it however if you've made a mistake you just tap on it again it will unselect it and allow you to select it in a different area again that goes throughout the scorecard it's it's very flexible that way so you keep working your way through the workflow on the app um, and then selecting as you go once you've reached the bottom of the page you will get the next section and you move into the threats and pressures like Caroline was talking about earlier so yet again there are more drop down menus but there are also free text boxes which are which are character limited but allow you to to enter um, specific advice for each field you're in um, I'm not going to fill in the rest of this just to just to highlight something else uh, another feature of the of the app so let's move on to the next section and then we come to the area recommendation so yet again there are uh, free text boxes number of management options you can select more than one um, and then any other management advice so then you can complete the scorecard when you complete the scorecard you'll be provided with the picture that you took earlier on the current score a submit draft scorecard or submit scorecard submit scorecard the green option allows you to submit the scorecard uh, the final scorecard into glam um, however when you press this option there is a validation that occurs and you can see here scorecard validation failed it brings you back to the start of the scorecard and allows you to review the scorecard so we filled in the first page we filled in the second section as well we went to the next section we find that there are areas that we didn't fill in mandatory questions so it will not let you submit the scorecard the final scorecard until you have filled out all options at this point you can either fill in those options um, and go and complete the final scorecard or you have the ability to there's more more of these mandatory questions or you have the ability to 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 work through the scorecard again and without answering these questions go to the final page and submit a draft scorecard which will then be available to be um, updated in GLAM so you get a message that your scorecard has been sent and the orange will change to green so received you can go into photos you can see there's an extra photo here which uh, with the sent message on it so this is a record of, of what has been sent to the department once these have been sent or have been sent and marked as received you can actually delete them or you can go in you can view the pictures there's a, there's a number of different options however the scorecard themselves are not you cannot go back into the scorecard itself and manipulate it unless you um have submitted it into the glam system in which case you may be able to um do further work in the scorecard in glam um we'll just go down here quickly to the acres peatland scorecard so same layout and um, same parcel in this case as well um so we go in we update our location which is a good practice to make sure your GPS is accurate. Start your survey. Um, you'll see up at the top here, the Acres Peatland Assessment Scorecard is the option. However, if you walk into the field and you realize that it has been assigned incorrectly, there are other options in this case. You are provided four options which you can change to. You can then take the picture as previous. As before, you will not be allowed to take a photo unless you are identified as being within the parcel. This then opens the, or allows you to open the scorecard and allows you to initiate the scorecard. And then you just work through the, the workflow as previously, as, as with the previous scorecard. So all of these um, options, as you select them, when you submit them into, into GLAM or you submit the final scorecard, these are then recorded and finalized as the as the scorecard. So as you can see, it's quite user friendly. Um, it won't let you make too many mistakes. It will actually, if you if you miss a question, it will send you back. Um, if you do not complete the scorecard or submit the draft scorecard in the field, it will not store the information for you. You must do do one or either action. You can when you're finished, then you can just log out.
or you can leave the phone running in the background as I said it will stay um, the app running even it will remain active for about 48 hours um, and allow you to continue on to the next parcel to complete your work So this was the image that was sent out um, with the the BIS applications this year, and it's just a um, a cartoon version of how the system actually works. So thank you for listening. Um, as I said, if you're experiencing any negative issues with AgriSnap, please do not uninstall the app before contacting agrisnap at agriculture.gov.ie. And very recently, we've opened up a new web page on the government.ie. Um, um, page, a uh, description of AgriSnap app, its use and where to download it um, and very soon this webinar hopefully will be available there along with one or two other videos that are currently available and a guidance manual. Okay, so thank you very much. <laughs>